In this video, I'm going to show you what is problem statement. This is the very, very important thing uh, when you are doing PhD or master. And before defining problem statement, you cannot go for uh, higher education because in your research proposal, because you are proposing something. So when you are proposing something that I'm going to do this, so you must need to have a problem. Because when you are doing something, there is a problem and you want to solve that problem. This is called problem and you must need to write few sentences or paragraph that is called statement about a problem. So the question rises that how I will know that there is a problem in something. For instance, I'm doing some work and proscite solar cell or sensors or catalysis or any kind of supercapacitors and how I will know that um, uh, there is a problem in something. Okay, let me tell you this. Uh, problem statement, this is we also call research gap. Gap because you are going to fill that gap and that is your PhD basically. So problem statement, statement I told that this is few sentences you write about that gap and that is called statement but problem how to know problem this you get from literature review now how what is literature review for instance you are working in ferroskite um, solar cell and let me open this one paper and you will get uh, the problem statement from reading reading the papers for example uh, when you reading this paper and you go to abstract and conclusion so you will see that what this work is about for example hopefully some good researcher uh, put something that uh, we have not tested this and we hope that this will give a very good result uh, but unfortunately we don't have the facilities or uh, don't have the materials or don't have other uh, standard testing uh, protocols so that you can find the gap and here I also for example uh, this guy used this uh, paper uh, for example uh, enhanced performance of flexible zero no solar cell by piezo photoelectric effect so you see he used this effect and he used the zero no here so this means that now uh, you need to think that if this guy used zero no zinc oxide and he get uh, good results so you think that what are the other materials related to this uh, Z and zinc oxide that other similar material uh, in a periodic table and you can choose then and you can use in a perovskite solar cell. So this means that our you can also find problem statement like this for example in zinc oxide uh, for instance if zinc oxide has a lower mobility or um, it has an instability factor so you can find another material which do not have these kind of uh, drawbacks. So this is also a problem. This is a problem in zinc oxide. For example, if zinc oxide is not stable and it's not uh, uh, give good efficiency and it's not perform very well. So because of some problems, so you identify those problems and you find the alternative and this is called a uh, problem. Now you find the gap. Okay. So I hope you understand now that what is the problem statement in how to find this problem statement uh, using uh, uh, literature review <laughs> okay uh, read my problem statement is very interesting my problem statement says that this is photo anode or working electrode is at the heart of dye sensitized solar cell a desired working electrode should have well, i want to say that a desired working electrode have these things number one high specific surface area to anchor large amount of dye we need high specific surface area number second a suitable morphology for electron diffusion electrolyte percolation and superior harvesting we also need high specific surface area but we also need a good morphology mean a nano rod or spheres or particle for diffusion electrolyte percolation and superior light harvesting number third a favorable conduction band alignment with light lowest unoccupied molecular metal of the dye molecule and the four number is a high electron conductivity and electron mobility to improve charge correction in device and we where we got these things from this paper you see from literature review now let's go down i convey again till date 
Various metal oxide have been em employed as a working electrode. However, none of them combine all these required features in a single material. The above mentioned four properties are not combined in one material. For example, titania, the most successful material, is characterized by high titania has this property, good property, high specific surface area, and suitable conduction band with more commercial dyes. But it has low electron mobility. This is the drawback which result in inferior charge collection you see this was the problem statement for example this is the problem in titania i explain this is the problem in titania on the other hand although sno2 f offers high electron mobility now sno2 also offer high electron mobility we got this from this paper its photo voltage performance is limited due to a mismatch in band gap alignment with most successful dyes and also low surface area Titania has uh, SNO2 has these two problem. Uh, these two two problems. And the the Titania has these two uh, uh, advantages. You will write these two advantages. You see. And similarly, SNO2 has also this advantage, high electron mobility. This advantage, right? So now, from literature, we understood that titania uh, have this uh, high surface area and good conduction band, and but it has some problem. And similarly, we see SNO2 has this uh, uh, advantages, but this uh, problems because of its low isolatric point. Uh, we also got from this paper you see therefore innovative approach are what are the innovative approach to combine this material with this so we will get all four properties in a single material and so what we are going to say a composite material therefore innovative approach or require to improve the performance of the working code by judicially combining the favorable property of the bottom you see so that was the problem and we give the solution this is the solution here this is the solution we give and this is the solution this is the solution we give to the problem so we now got the problem from literature review we collected this problem from literature review and now we give the solutions that what will be the best approach to uh, find the solution for that problem is this one so this is how we uh, find problem statement and uh, we give the solution so i hope it's very clear now what is basically problem statement and if you have any problem how to define problem statement it is not easy task you must need to do literature survey literature review and you must need a lot of reading to understand what is the gap and where is the gap thanks for watching